All right, you guys, so I just wanted to start doing this video by just doing like a little flip through of my supplies. And then now that we're actually starting, I guess I will tell you guys specific supplies that I like to use. This is the pencil case that I like to use. This one's a Lit Hit Lab one. Um, I don't remember the exact name of it, but I'll just like link it down below, like, cause I, I can find it. Like I'll look through my Amazon orders, LOL. But um, I actually had ordered this like maybe a year ago, I believe. I literally love this. Like I literally, it has lasted me through so much, like, and it's so sturdy, honestly, like it works so good and it has so much space in here. So let's zip it up real quick or unzip it, I should say. And we're gonna start. So this front part is my most used items. Like I use these constantly all the time. These are just like a little extras and obviously the back, this literally just fell out. So I start right here. These are actually my zebra mod liners. Um, I don't remember the exact name of them because literally they have different packs. This one's like the, past the pastel light -like colored ones. They're really pretty. I love the way they work. Honestly, the thing that kind of sucks about them is that they smear, but I mean, a lot of them do. And also it has to do with the pen itself. Um, this is my favorite pencil. Literally, I can go on a rant with this, about this for hours, but I'm not going to because there's literally no point. This one is the Pentel Side Effects in the 0.5. I love it so much. Um, obviously, it has one of those, like, things. The next um, thing that I use constantly is my Tomba Furunisuke um, brush pen. I love this so much. This one is the um, hard tip one. There's a hard tip and a soft tip. I use this one all the time. This one's the hard tip. And it um, definitely writes more fine and smaller things than the soft tip one does. But I love it. The next thing that I use all the time is my Pilot Juice pen in the size 0.38. I love this pen so much. Like, it writes so smoothly. It, like, makes my handwriting look gorgeous. I love it so much. So those are my most used items. And then these are just a little extras. Like, I have more of the Tomba Furunisukes. This one is the soft tip one that I was talking about. The other one's the hard tip the one that I use. And this one writes a little bigger. Um, another pencil that I enjoy, I just have in here because, but the other one's definitely my favorite, but this one I like using as well. This one is a tool, um, pencil in the size 0.5. Um, this one has one of those erasers that go up. Wait, so does this one, by the way. I didn't even let you guys know, but yeah, I love it. The next thing that I love, you're going to see this brand, um, a few times in this video, but this one is a Muji one. I love this one so much. This one is in the size 0.38 as well. As you guys are going to see throughout this video, I love 0.38 for some reason. Like, I enjoy 0.5. Not so much 0.7, only because I usually like writing smaller, and I feel like finer tips really help with that. So, yeah. Um, And then I also have this Sharpie pen that I actually use for my bullet journal spreads. I think I need to buy a new one, because this one is definitely starting to wear out. And then on the next little flap, we have my... High Polymer Eraser by Pentel. This one um, is a very well-known eraser. A lot of people use it. I like it a lot. I feel like it really definitely um, erases everything you need to, and it makes it look clean, as clean as possible, obviously. Um, and then this one I just got in a recent purchase. I went to um, Santa Monica this past, like, this past month. I don't remember exactly what, how long ago it was. Um, this is actually a, um, how, do, how do I say this? A glue tape dispenser. I think that's what it's called. Basically, um, whenever you want to glue something, you just, like... Boop, boop. It's kind of like a whiteout tape kind of thing. I don't even know how to explain it. But, um, this one is my whiteout. Um, this one is actually an Office Depot one. Um, it does a little boop, and then you just push it back in. I love this so much. This one, um, I actually have been using for a while now as well. I love it. Um, I have these post-it notes. Um, they're actually um, page flags, which I need to start using because I always use regular sticky notes when I literally have page flags. I forget that I have these in there. Um, I also have these, which I literally, um, I think I said already, but I just recently purchased. I love them so much. So these are the mild liners. They're brush pens. Oh my God. They work so good. You guys, they're literally like, um, the same colors as the highlighters and oh my God, they work so good. I love them. I definitely have been like in love with these and been definitely using them in my bullet journal. Um, of course, if you guys are into like bullet journaling and stuff like that, you definitely see these everywhere. These are the Tombow um, dual brush pens. These have a brush pen and a, um, how would I say this? A bullet tip pen, I assume. Um, it's definitely finer. But this one, oh my god, they work so good, of course. They're super popular in the bullet journal community and the stationery community. And this one is a, like, finer bullet point. Um, I have it in these two colors. I actually had way more, but I just actually threw them away yesterday because they were super dried out and just like frayed out. Like it was like I I overused them, I guess. This one is the Frickson 
Frixion, I don't know how to pronounce it, colors. And it's actually an erasable pen or marker. It looks like that. And then you actually, after that, you can use this like um, rubber thing and you can literally erase. It's not the best thing in the world, but it definitely works. Like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's very like on and off. And then here's another refill of my Pilot Juice pen because I'm just so obsessed with those pens. And then I have a Pilot G2 pen, which actually used to be a fair pen, like, of all time. And so I would always watch stationary videos. And um, a lot of people told me that this one, the Pilot Juice pen, actually didn't, um, how do I say, um, smear as much when it comes to highlighting. So I switched over to this one instead. But this one is still definitely a really good pen and definitely a... Um, how do I say a dupe to this one so you don't have to be ordering on Amazon or anything like that all right and now for the journal itself so um I actually used to use the what is it called Lloydstrom 1917 journal I believe that's what it's called um, it was actually one of my favorite journals, and I still honestly like it to this day. Um, I just wanted to switch to this one because I, I like the aesthetic of it, and also I like that you can open it up and obviously remove any papers that you would like to. I just think it's a lot easier to use, in my opinion. Um, and honestly, it was super inexpensive. Um, the Loisham 1917 journals are actually like 20 bucks, I believe. I, I think I bought it for $19.95. And this one was actually $5.99 or $5.90 at the Muji store, which if you order online, it's literally gonna be the same price. And then you just buy a refill paper over and over, which they're not expensive at all either. The packs of them were like two something, I believe. So yeah, this one is the Muji, I think, yeah, it's a Muji binder in the A5. And yeah, it has 20 rings. I love this so much. I just find it really pretty and aesthetically pleasing, obviously. Um, but also I really like that um, it has all these rings. So you um, you know like all your papers in force and it will not be like falling out or anything like that. Um, so my bullet journal, the way I started this is actually by putting all these things on it, which I actually got in LA and I wanted to put it in the front just a reminder because it was just a, such a fun day. Honestly, I loved it so much. And I just think these things made it look really cute and like almost like a scrapbooky type of a thing. And I like it. Um, so basically this is the Muji, um, uh, business card that I actually grabbed from the front desk. And then this is one of my tags from when I went to the Brandy Melville store, another tag, and then the receipt from the Brandy store. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm a huge Brandy like fan, I guess you could say. Um, and then I just put my bullet journal at the top. Just something cute, fun, I guess. And then when you flip over, you get to my 2020 goals, which I actually got for my older bullet journal. I just ended up, like, redoing it because I still wanted to keep these things in this bullet journal because these are things that I like to look at. So, yeah, these are things I just want to get a reminder of whenever I open this up. So this is my 2019 overview. And this is my bullet... Or, this is my budget planner for Disneyland, which I don't even know if we're going anymore. It's such a mess right now because of this whole, how do I say, oh, COVID-19 stuff going on. But it's okay. We'll see what happens. So, and then we get into the actual planning stuff, I guess. This is my cover page. I just wanted something very simple, very easy. And then we get into my, um, my monthly spread. So, um, the way I did this, honestly, is very difficult. I had to count out the spaces, and as you can tell, it definitely wasn't perfect. Like, we have some smaller ones right here, and then a big one right here. It just went all over the place, but obviously, it's trial and error. Um, I think it doesn't look that bad anyways. I think it looks fine. And then we get into my weekly layout, which today we are on Tuesday, and actually had an online class today, which I overslept. I'm so embarrassed, but it's okay. Um, and then I have Thursday, so it's okay. We'll re- we'll try to revamp ourselves on Thursday. And then we have our spending log, and basically I just write all my, um, what I've bought in so far with the, obviously my check that I received, and my bills that I have so far, which obviously as you guys can see, it's just like, anyways. Um, and then I have my favorite song lyrics page right here, I just want to fill up with a bunch of different song lyrics that I enjoy, which also I was thinking the other day, I can also use for captions on my pictures. Um, and by the way, if you guys aren't following me, definitely follow my Instagram, I'll link it down below. And then I have this Zoodle Dump, which I actually put in here because I took inspiration from other people. Because the whole point of a bullet journal, if you guys did not know, was actually for many reasons. You can use it for journaling. You can use it to um, as a planner and definitely just for fun. Um, my hair just wanted to do different doodles just for fun. And then this one was actually a painting I did with my friends. I'll insert a TikTok in here, actually. It was super fun. And then yesterday I did this spread, which is a YouTube video ideas, where I was starting um, bullet journal videos and supplies and stuff like that, which you guys are just looking at right now. 
And then the back page is a reading log, which I actually want to start reading, especially right now during this quarantine, because nothing is really happening. So I think this is the perfect time to start reading a good book. Um, I actually enjoy reading, but it has to be a book that I enjoy. Definitely, I cannot be forced to. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully you guys like this video because this was something I definitely been wanting to do for a long time, but I didn't have the time and nor the equipment. And I just got this tripod, of course. So by the way, if you guys want to know that this tripod is, I'll link it down below real quick because I swear nobody ever links anything. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys liked it and I'll make some more in the future. Bye guys.